Hi, my name's Cam. In late August, I paddled the Barlow Lake Canoe Loop, located in the west arm of Lake Nipissing, right over here. Or more specifically, right here. My grandfather used to paddle this route back in the late 50s, and it's very seldom paddled since then. So I'm up against a pretty big challenge. Bushwhack portages, shitty creeks, nasty swamps, and overall challenging canoe tripping. My journey begins on Lac Faux Pas. After a short portage off the main road, you're paddling away. The short 3 kilometer paddle between Lac Faux Pas and Band Lake contained about 10 nice campsites. And you can just tell that these campsites were freaking old. They have not been used in years. Towards the north end of Band Lake is a shelf of rocks flanked by a swamp. It made a perfect campsite for the night. Burn like a dream, baby. The next morning was absolutely magical. Today was going to be filled with obstacles. Creeks, beaver dams, swamps, you name it. Before long, I reached Barlow Lake, an expansive long lake that allows for easy paddling with no interruptions. Once you're finished up on Barlow Lake, it's back to swamps, creeks, and beaver dams.
section here, you can see it's a pure plant and then on the other side there's uh, the water again. On Saturday, I paddled from Band Lake, across Barlow, down Big Marsh, into Boulder, and then finally into Cary. Each lake resembled true Canadian shield. They all had nice flat sections of rock that made perfect campsites. A few very faint portages existed between the lakes, located here. I didn't notice them, and as such, I didn't end up using them. However, they would have proved very useful. My campsite for the night was located at the south end of Cary Lake, atop an elevated rock. The next big hurdle would be a portage connecting Judge Lake and Cary Lake. It wasn't quite clear if it existed or not, as it was very old. A very faint trail existed. However, it was pretty much useless. After some time, I made it to Judge Lake. The final hurdle of this canoe trip was to connect Judge Lake and Six Bass Lake via Three Way and Punch Bowl Lakes. There were no portages that I could see. From Six Bass Lake, you can loop back to Lac Fopa and finish off your trip. So there you have it, the Barlow Lake Canoe Loop. It's a super fun route if you're up for a good adventure. I'd like to give a special thanks to my stepfather, Ray Pedno, 
and his father, Ray Pedno Sr., for helping me map this road. Standing to the job.